Hi, I'm Oliver Inquist, and I just want to give you a quick walkthrough of the preset that I made for the Helix Artist Tone Collection. The preset consists of three snapshots. Snapshot 1, I call it Fuzz 1, has a noise gate on the input, and I use the Tiger Tavia for the Fuzz sound, and a Univibe that I really can't say the name of, so you have to look that up in the preset. And I used the Dynamic Ambience for short verbs, which is set up in parallel. And it sounds like this. So I use the volume knob to kind of clean up the whole sound. So my volume is a, just between 3 and 4 and I know that's quite relative because that differs from guitar to guitar. But here on this strat, if I turn up the volume at 10 and play these chords it becomes really muddy. So if I clean it up, keep in mind that I have a triple bleed installed in all my guitars. And if you don't know what a triple bleed is, you can search for it on the web. This is also a great demonstration of how dynamic the Helix is. Snapshot 2, I call it Fuzz 2, is actually the same as Fuzz 1 but I'm adding the Vedawa and the Doc Delay. And it sounds like this. And if I put the volume all at 10, the Vedawa is the block that I did the most of the changes on especially the FC high, which I turned down so the sweep on the wah isn't going so high triple-ish. Moving on to snapshot 3, I call it lead. It consists of the here apparent drive and a four voice chorus, a duck delay and a glitch reverb, which also is set up in parallel. The glitch reverb adds this much bigger hall definition to the whole sound, where the full voice chorus is just set up to give my single notes a bit more definition. The mix knob is only on 20% for that one. And it sounds like this. <laughs> The main amp for the whole preset is the Placated Dirty, which is set up quite hot for everything in this preset. All that is running through a cab called the 1x12 Kelly EXT. There's really not much to it, but a big part of the whole sound is how the blocks are patched. These snapshots are part of my main preset that I use on a daily basis. That's also why that there's space in between the blocks. I could have relocated them, but I thought it would be cool to keep it like this so you can get a snippet of how I patch my preset and maybe add some of your own stuff to it. So this is the preset that I chose for the Helix Artist Tone Collection. Thank you for watching. I hope you will be downloading this preset and get a lot of fun out of it. Hope to see you out there. Peace.